So should I just pretend like you're not here or something? Is that how I'm supposed to do this? Just like act like Maddie Hapoya isn't just standing right there at my house, like filming all this? Okay. This is our home right now. It's a it's a three bedroom house, but then we have an attached garage where my studio is. Yeah, you wanna go check out the studio? Welcome to my office. And this is our bodyguard. Everyone gets freaked out by him, especially at night. People always see him and go, oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Mozilla, you were in here this whole time? So I've always been jealous of everyone that's really good at cleaning as they go. And I realized I'm not good at doing that at all. <laughs> Cause I always, I always get in the zone of stuff. So I start, I start going, oh, I want to film this. And I, oh, I want to set this up. And I, and I, once I'm in that zone, I can't go, oh, here, let me take this and put it away. So what I realized that works is just to blow up the studio every day and then start it over, like start the next day off with 50 minutes of cleaning. That's generally been, generally been working. That's why this place doesn't look as bad as it sometimes gets. It, oh man, how long does it take to make a video? It's, it's a lot of hours. I don't know, Sam, what do you think? I, I'm gonna guess about 30 hours of editing per video, sometimes more, sometimes less. Right now, three a week. We're doing three a week because I said yes to so many sponsors. No. Don't show this, this is me Googling how to spell recommend for my video. <laughs> how do you spell recommend though? The, the amount I have to work a week, it, oh God, I, was, I, I, have to, I have to like time it out, but man, I, I've easily, definitely over like 70 or 80. And sometimes I think if I have like deadlines then I could go up to 100, I mean like, this week here, we've, I've posted a 20 minute video on Monday and then a 15 minute video yesterday and then tomorrow I'm gonna post another 15 minute video. So that's like, oh, like 50 minutes of like edited content within a week. So it's, 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 it's tough. I wake up pretty early. I wake up at like seven and I go straight into work mode. A lot of times I'll go to sleep at like, well, I'll, I'll clock out basically at like 10 or 11 at night. So what is it like? 14, 15 hour days and I'll do that seven days a week. And I'm very inefficient with how I film. I just let the camera roll all the time. And then I do a lot of the building of the video in editing. So we spend so much time editing it. And generally as of right now, how it works is Sam will get the raw footage and edit it and put it together structurally. So he'll put a day or two onto like the basic edit and then I'll go in and spend like another eight to 10 hours on it to just kind of put like my voice on it sorta. Um, and like, I like to add little spins to things. Um, so that's, that's kind of the dilemma It's like, Sponsors, I, I turned, uh, I've learned to say no to most of them, but uh, sometimes it makes sense. The problem is it's a lot easier to say, yeah, I'll do a sponsored video than to make a sponsored video. So I said yes to a bunch. So this month's gonna be a busy month, so. <laughs> no sleep, more coffee. We keep a, the dogs like to keep me company while I work. So I always lay this out for them. And this is all, this is like half of our gear collection here. Uh, where we, I, I'd like to have more space, but it's just LA rent is very expensive. So it's pretty small. I the desk and yeah. But it would be really cool to get like a big old space one day. I would utilize it, build so many different little sets because I get so sick of filming in the same spot. I have different color rolls. That's how I mix it up. That's how I spice up my life. <laughs> Let's do. This is this is my typical attire, by the way. Is I pay attention to what I'm wearing from like the waist up, because I got this table right here. And I always joke about it on my channel of how I'm not wearing any pants, but literally, Sam will tell you, I'm never wearing pants. Ever. <laughs> Always in his underwear when I come in. <laughs> yeah, he'll like walk in and I'll be in the underwear like on my laptop, just, oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> and it'll be really funny because he'll be getting in there. So, all right, so today we're gonna like do this, totally shirtless, just in his underwear, and then he'll be scratching his buttons. Like, yeah, we're gonna do that. And then just like, just like butt naked, basically. Is the orange too much? 
But I'm kind of, my truck's kind of embarrassing right now because I just got my lift on, but I'm still waiting for my tires to come in. So can you just like edit it so that it looks like big tires so that everything looks proportionate? Because right now I got, it's lifted and it's got teeny little street tires. So it's it's kind of weird, but. <laughs> Anyways, shall we go get some breakfast? I think I've got 430 ish thousand something like that 430 oh god it's it's still like surreal to think about that number like i i think it's actually good that i just see a little digital number instead of actually like see hundreds of thousands of people because i would i would not i would probably lock up i'd be like it can't be myself anymore so while i'm wearing these shorts you're only allowed to film me from the waist up okay if i if i knew you're gonna be film if i knew i was gonna be on camera down here, I would have put on some pants. It's weird. I, I can. I feel like I can treat a camera like a person, like one person, sorta. You know. And I kind of like to forget about the fact that there's more than one person on the other side of the lens. And it's definitely cool meeting the people that watch. Sometimes, like you go, oh yeah, no, you're a real person. Like, oh, you saw that video? Okay, I. I saw that there's a large number of people that did, but you're you're a person. You watched it, okay? So, you're real. Cool. <laughs> Having more views and more subscribers, like I went into it thinking, like I don't ever want to care about this. Like this should not be a factor that matters to me. But it definitely does. Like it, it affects me a lot. Like, I, and I think everyone that starts a YouTube channel, they go through that phase where they're just like checking their stats. Like, oh, and the number itself, I think is just like, you know, it's all kind of relative, you know? Like if I, uh, like a thousand views, uh, like, you know, at, at the time was like really, really cool. It's like, I got a thousand views on this video. And now it's like, now I have a new like, new baseline, you know? So now if I got a thousand views on a video, like it's like, oh my God, what the, what's, what's happening? My, my career is over. If I get a hundred thousand views on a video, I'm like, yeah, sweet. But I'm sure that there's many people out there where if they got a hundred thousand views on a video, they'll be like, oh no, oh no. I can't, I can't pay rent, <laughs> you know? So I think like it definitely does affect, I try not to let it as much as possible, but whenever like a video kind of tanks, it's like, well, that, that sucks, it was effort. Even though it's still a lot of views, you know, it's still kind of just like, oh, that, that, that uh, didn't do as good as my previous one. And I think that's just like human nature to just like try to keep going up the ladder, right? You go, oh, I want the next one to be better than my neck and last, and you just keep working your way up. I think there's always that fear. It's like, oh, things are going good right now. And it, a lot of times I feel like this is too good. You know, and things are like, this is too good to be true. You almost like we're a little, you start getting concerned. So there's always that pressure, you know, it's like athletes. At least athletes go into it knowing that you have like, you probably have this many years before you probably need to retire. Your, your pitcher's arm is gonna go bad in this many years, so. Be wise, but like with YouTube, like I feel like it's kind of along those lines or like who knows what's gonna happen in a few years. So I'm just kind of enjoying it while it lasts and uh, hopefully I can keep it going, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> you guys have to go without me. I'm, 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 I'm trapped until she decides to let me go. Uh, all right, so we have a video that needs to go live tomorrow. We're actually, so we have a video that needs to go live 3 a.m. as soon as it becomes publicly announced. It's this gimbal. Uh oh, it's falling apart. We're just basically scrambling to get this video done. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on? We're, we're doing some filming today. Yeah, right Good to see you guys. Oh, this one's like the ultimate chair right here. It's, it's a balls. dog mom chair. <laughs> but we're gonna go inside, talk a little business. But we need all the chairs we can get, so I'm stealing Carrie's chair. I'm at the stage where I'm going through growing pains where we want to make more videos and we can, you know, afford to make more videos. We can scale up a little bit to make that happen. But um, I'm just trying to figure out how to do, how do I output more videos that I'm happy with? Because I have so many concepts that I want to do and I'll never be able to catch up to all the videos I want to do. 
but um, how do I do that while still keeping my voice and everything? Cause I'm very particular with how things are cut or how things are shot and all that. So I still want it to be like my own voice, but at the same time, I don't want to be spending as much time on a video. So I've been experimenting a lot. I'm like, what can I have other people help me with without me losing touch with the videos, I think. And once I figure that out, I'm excited to work 60 hours a week. Like I could do that. Yeah, totally. I have the, how much hours of free time is that a day? I don't even know. Like, is that like six hours? But you're usually up for what, 16 hours a day? So if I work 10 hours a day, I have six hours of free time. What do I even do with six hours of free time? I don't know. I don't watch TV. I, I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It'd be interesting, but I'm going to do it. I've already, I have a whiteboard up in uh, one of our rooms where I'm going to every day, I'm going to write down how many hours do you work today? And as soon as I hit 60, I'm going to just no more. You got a mystery package. What is it? What is it? Oh, is this from Peter? Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's a new Peter. No. Okay, so this is all. Do not post anything until October 15th. I didn't sign any NDAs, so. Oh, whoa. Dude. That is dope, actually. See, look, Peter has style. That actually looks really good. He's in love with Peter. Like, in love. I'm not, so don't, don't put that thing. Yeah. <laughs> So that stays there for the next week. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go out and get some final shots for a video that we're putting out today. So we're just stripping down this Jeep so that we can go drive around topless. We're gonna get topless, boys. Yeah, so the video has to go up tonight uh, because that's when the embargo lifts. And uh, I just finally got the final details on the price of the gimbal and all that stuff like an hour ago so we're gonna go and finish up this video but i thought it'd be kind of cool to finish off the video with like a little montage of this jeep lifted because throughout the video we've been putting our parts on and about 12 hours for the video to go live so yeah a lot of these videos <clears throat> that's the interesting part about like traditional media right it's like we're gonna go do this shoot maybe people can watch it in like two months somewhere but now it's like, we're gonna shoot this right now. Hopefully everything goes smooth because it has to be live. So not only do we have to shoot it in the next 12 hours, we have to edit it. And then we have to upload it so that it can go for review, make sure that they fact checked everything and make sure we don't give out incorrect information. So that takes a little bit of time to go back and forth a couple of times. Then we get it live and get to finally hit that publish button at 3 a.m. this morning. So, or tomorrow morning. Okay. Like sponsored videos like this are awesome because, you know, this is a piece of gear that I actually do really like. So I have no problem uh, partnering up with them to make this video. But uh, it's sometimes like sponsorships, they can be really, really tempting. You know, like uh, you could get offered a lot of money to do something, but you're like, oh, I don't really like this product. And it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. A lot easier said than done to just like say no to a bad deal, but sometimes they offer a lot of money. And you're like, oh my God. So I've had to turn down a few recently and it's just like, oh man, all I have to do is just say, hey, this is a really cool product. And then I get paid a bunch of money. But that's part of like the, that's one of the things that's like, I've encountered recently where it's like, this is actually pretty tough to say no to, but uh, I think it's important to, I think it's important when you start a channel, you kind of, like come up with your priorities and one of the first priorities that I had in mind was to make sure that honesty is like priority number one more than anything is like honesty has to be priority number one this is also my first time really heavily including off-road or jeep footage into a video so hopefully people aren't like why are you showing us so much jeep footage Well, my dad was a professional photographer and he was pretty successful at it. Uh, so we had like some cameras laying around. Uh, and then I, and then I think it was a hand-me-down from my brother. Which, I know, I just kind of picked it up and started filming with it. I, I just filmed everything. Like as soon as I got a camera, I just like would record, record and, and try to learn how to edit. I mean, I would film anything from 
people just like doing dumb things to playing with fire. We would light stuff on fire. Uh, we ended up <laughs> boxing each other all the time. I got a hold of some boxing gloves. I was like, hey, we should fight each other. And then I'll record it. And then I started this like little MySpace group where we uploaded the fights. Then eventually the school found out about it. We got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, and then when I kind of found out like you can kind of do it as a job, I was like, okay, I'm gonna work really hard and I'll do whatever it takes to do it. And I don't care how hard I have to work. It's like, this is what I want to do. <laughs> Basically, everyone was like, well, it's not really a good career choice because it's not really a, a job, sort of. It's kind of like this thing that you can do and sure you can make money off it, but it's gonna be really challenging. So you're gonna really have to hustle to make it a job and then when I did it and like it was I think 2016 where like uh, we actually had a lot of success in the company in the production side and it's like this is probably the worst year ever for me like personally it was like the best year financially and in the company wise but it was just like I hated life I still enjoy it, but I was just doing it too much. I was going too hardcore. And I guess it's kind of like burnout, right? Like you do anything too much. Like people do YouTube, which is probably one of the, the, the most flexible and you could you could literally do whatever you want as a YouTuber, which is awesome. But, um, but there's definitely certain downsides of it that you don't really realize until you're doing it. Like, you know, like for example, you know, sometimes we'll go out and it, it feels like work, but the, the goal is to make something look fun. Kind of like today even just like, we're like, hey, let's let's try to go and have fun off-roading and all this stuff and then try to document that. But it ended up being the kind of the, the opposite. We got there and- No cars! <laughs> I know, that's the plan, but. So you're gonna have to let me lead. What's, What's up, dude? man? I see you again. Hey, what's going on, dude? Good to see you, man. I heard it's uh, awesome. order is coming in on Monday. Yeah, One day, okay, I'm, I'm waiting for my bumper to come in too. A bumper and a winch. I'm not gonna go that crazy. That's like a hundred, this is all, this is 120% right here. I'm gonna go to 80% there. Okay, cool. I'll, yeah, I'll look on the side. All right. I always try to overlap like fun stuff as much as possible with the, uh, with YouTube stuff. Oh. This might be closed. Let's see, does it open? All right, so we thought we were gonna have this whole trail and we we're gonna go all the way up there and get some epic shots. But since it's closed, we're gonna have to kind of just work in this like, literally I could probably throw a Frisbee to the other end of it, but we're just gonna drive it back and forth a bunch of times. It's gonna be kind of, this is gonna be one of those cases where it's not as much fun doing. Like, it would've been so much fun to drive all the way up there and have a little adventure, but uh, it would be magical. we kind of need the we kind of need the content at this point. So we're just gonna shoot it and make it look like it's fun. <laughs> but really, we're just gonna go. You turn, and we're gonna just do that a bunch of times. And Sam, you're gonna have to make it look cool. <laughs> Got it. It's a struggle Fil filming YouTube videos. That's the thing is like I always tell people like it's it it's it looks easy but you don't you won't believe how many obstacles you come up with like a lot of the stuff we filmed the other day the microphone cable wasn't working so we didn't get a bunch of the audio and then we come here and then the gate turns out closed when it's not supposed to be yeah you know, so it's always like the little things that kind of become obstacles but it was, it was kind of kind of working with it. I gotta post a video tonight, so <laughs> so I gotta shoot that. I think I really wanted to get into YouTube because uh, I got a few projects for work and I remember being so happy with the way I would create it and I was so confident. I, at that point, I've been doing it professionally for 10 years, so I would create projects and I was so confident in the work. I was like, this is a good project and I would send it over to clients and they would be like, oh, we want this change. We want this change. And it would literally be, uh, it w what killed me is that a lot of times the people giving me the feedback were people that really didn't understand the video world, especially when it was a project that I thought was really good. And then they would take it and be like, can you cut move this out? And I was like, that's the best part. I worked so hard on it. You know, that was like, that's when I realized like, man, I don't really have a say in this. Like no matter how much I love it, like it, in the end, it's gonna just end up in their hands and they can do whatever they want with it. 
at least with YouTube, I could have a creative outlet. Like I, did, I, I never thought it could be a job or anything like that. Like I just kind of was like, I just need an outlet where I can literally finish a video and then hit upload and nobody can stop me in between the completed video and it going to public. Uh, so I think all I got to do is talk about the pricing, right? That's like the only thing that's really missing. Yeah. Rolling. All right, so, oh, all right, so, it, okay. All right, so I just found out how, all right, so they just told me how much that they're selling this for, and they're selling this for 439 US dollars, which is pretty good, in my opinion. Um, and for, wait, how much is this? 649. 679. And then for 679, you get that whole wireless transmission kit that we were messing with earlier. So definitely reasonable. See, it takes me a lot of takes, man. I'm not an expert. We're on take two or three right now. But all right, here we go. I'm gonna nail it. Go on. All right, so. All right, so now that I've had a little bit more time using this, I am definitely pleased with it. And I just found out how much the price is. It comes in. For anything else besides price? Uh, I, I went. I got through everything with price. You got. You got price. Everything else is, is there. The first video that took off, uh, in my opinion, like the first time I was like, "Holy crap!" was uh, a travel video uh, on Iceland, and I basically broke down every cost of my Iceland trip and I kind of like compiled all that information, logged it, and then I made a video about it. So I was like, I went to here, 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 here's how much my airfare costs, here's how much the food costs, groceries, da -da -da -da, Airbnb, all that stuff. It was a lot of work to make those videos, <laughs> but just like calculating everything out and breaking it down and all that. But uh, I knew like, oh, this is a video that would be useful to people. And that one did really well. And I think it got like 10,000 views. I was like, yes. I'm awesome. And then uh, we did the same thing for Cuba. Broke everything down and that one ended up, uh, I think now it's at like 500,000 and uh, like, like my mind was blown. So for a while I was like, I'm, this is gonna be what I'm gonna do the rest of my life, I guess, is travel places and just keep track of uh, meals and stuff. And I was like, I I'm cool with that. That sounds awesome. The thumbnails are my least favorite part, this sucks. I don't know why thumbnails, I hate taking them so much. It's my least favorite part. It's like, ah, finally, we finished the video. It's like, oh yeah, we gotta go and take pictures. The most important part, as they say. Let's turn this way a little bit. I'm such a poser. Not even do anything, camera's not even on. <laughs> it just feels so fake. Cause, probably cause it is fake. <laughs> Yeah, I made a few camera videos, but none of them really took off. And I figured like, oh, it's so saturated. There's so many people. And there's no way I could make camera videos and compete. Uh, but I made one video where it was like, I think it was the iPhone 7 versus Aerie Alexa. And that, at the time I was shooting a project on the Aerie Alexa. And so I had it around. I was like, I might as well try to, you know, do something fun with it. Uh, and that video ended up getting like a million views and I was, immediately I became a filmmaker channel <laughs> instead of a instead of a travel channel. So reviewing cameras is the best because like I'll get a camera but like, let's go test it. What should we do? And we could literally go, what sounds like the most awesome thing we could do? Let's do that. And then just as long as we film it on that camera. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we got the shots. Hopefully, I always get nervous. I always walk, I never walk away from a shoot feeling like, oh, we got everything we needed, you know? I'm always like, I hope we got it. And then usually when I'm done with that, it's when I'm like, oh, okay, good. We got it, we got Let's the get it again. Okay. Yeah, like some days it's super easy. It just kind of, the footage just works. All the talking point, like the video just comes out. It just makes itself. And you just feel like it's just, oh, it just, oh, the video's done. It's perfect. And some days it's like a, it's almost like a struggle. You're like, oh, it's not, this is not coming out the way I wanted it to. And, uh, things go wrong. Gates get closed when they're supposed to be open. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the life. Looks like the same color. That's nuts that you found the bolt. Yeah. So, so we were, uh, we were driving and one of the screws just like out of our sway bar. So, and we heard it, we heard it, and I thought maybe I just ran over something, but 
Nope, there's a part of the part of the thing just came out. <laughs> it was this bolt. And it's just like fell out and just went. I think it's 18 mil. Uh so we might do another we might be doing a little pit stop at AutoZone to get the part <laughs> so that we can drive home without dying. <laughs> oh so much dust. The wind. <laughs> Hopefully this footage is worth it. It's probably not gonna be worth it. <laughs> the footage is gonna be so what like people are not even gonna realize. The people are gonna have no idea what we went through to get those like three <laughs> shots for the video. <laughs> All right, so uh, we we zip tied one of the parts on, and hopefully that's enough to keep it on for now. And then with the auto shops only 0.7 miles away. Just yanked off the zip tie. Yeah, we like zip tied that whole thing on there and it must have just yanked off when we hit the speed bump. <laughs> so note to self, uh, zip ties do not replace steel bolts. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get our car back. Wait, you should be the nut? Yeah, I should be the nut. Oh, okay. Is there a Home Depot? Yes. So they don't have the bolt size we need. So we're gonna see, maybe like a lug nut might be the right size, possibly. Just to get this one? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll work, that's yeah, let's do it. This is gonna get us home. This is gonna go, this isn't the proper piece. We just need this to stay on long enough for us to get home so we can start editing this footage we shot and then we're good. Were you able to just to line it, it up? Uh, no, no, it's loose. Yeah. Up. All right there. Up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really, you only just needed like 20 pounds of lift, but, but it just I just feel really strong. <laughs> so I was already so modest. First time you get us. Uh, Neil Spacer's. Shit out. We're back in business. <laughs> Woo! We're not stranded in the desert. <laughs> Workflow is something I need to improve a lot on because <laughs> again, I was spending so much time per video and I am, it's getting to the point where it's unhealthy. Like I'm not getting enough sleep and I just wake up and I can't stop thinking about work a lot of the time. Uh, so that's been kind of tough just like trying to disconnect because I just, I've always been a very much like go, go, go person. And uh, I know some people are very good at just like relaxing on a beach and just like, they can think about nothing. You know? And that's something that, that's a skill I want to learn how to do. Thinking about meditation and stuff, I hear that's, that's supposed to help. But like, as of right now, like any wake, any moment I'm awake, I'm thinking about the next video or how I can make this video better. Like there's a few things I do to disconnect, like walk the dogs, but even walking the dogs, like half the times I'm thinking about like how, what I need to film today or what I should film tomorrow. How do I be more efficient with my workflow? How do I start posting three videos a week consistently without driving myself insane? How do I make this thing interesting? How can I get this shot? How, who can I call to, to, to shoot with this scene with? You know, it's like, there's, there's so much brain work that goes into um, coming up with the concepts and trying to make sure it's interesting and there's always something to think about. It's tough, it's like, why do I drive myself insane to like work an insane amount of hours and all that? And I think part of it is that like, I really enjoy doing it. Cause I really do, I really love making the videos for YouTube and every time I publish a video, I'm like in the best mood ever. Like it's almost like I got addicted to it. You know, so I did it once. I was like, ooh, this this did well. People are, people are watching this stuff. Oh, I have this other idea. And I just have this huge list of ideas. And then a, a lot of times, like, I can't help to think like, this is like, what I need to be doing is like putting out more videos and, and working harder. So uh, I don't know. It's not like I try to work an insane amount of hours. It just kind of happens. And I don't have kids yet. So <laughs> like, I'm allowed to get, work as late as possible. I think there's definitely a certain amount of pressure, you know, how like everyone kind of talks about YouTube burnout and I could see that it's, it's a hundred percent there. Like it's a hundred percent. Like if I were to keep going at the pace I'm going right now, like I would definitely burn out. I wouldn't last another year or so. 
I, I have this, I, I think I, I feel guilty doing other stuff sometimes. Like I'll, I'll be doing something that's not productive and I kind of feel like, oh, you know, I should really be doing this YouTube channel, like this video that I had in mind. I should really be doing that. I could be doing that now. It's just one of those things where it just looks a lot easier than it is. And then until you do it, you, you don't really realize like, that's a lot of work. Like I would say the general public would just be like, Oh yeah, so you make all these YouTube videos on like your free time, like, you know, you, oh what, you, you spend more than an hour on you, these videos? You spend how many hours on the video? Like, then they realize like, wow, you, this, this has engulfed your whole life. I think there's certain parts of life that's obviously changed, like job wise is the biggest, like uh, I could be a lot more selective. That's awesome, actually, is like being able to be selective. Personal life-wise, not too much has changed, actually. It's it's interesting because uh, when I was just starting out, I had a friend who had like a viral video and he kept saying like, yeah, there's your personal life and then there's your internet life. And as soon as you go viral, your internet life just completely just like will take a 180 and all of a sudden like you have this presence online and everyone wants to hear what you have to say. But like your personal life generally stays the same. Occasionally, you know, you go outside and you'll bump into someone and it's like, oh yeah, this is, life's a little bit different. But for the most part, like everything's, my day in day out is pretty much the same as what it was before, I would say, except for I'm working a lot. <laughs>